But is there a way? I mean, okay. So there's certainly the fact that obviously the Chinese model is incredibly repressive and so on, and that's a terrible model for the future. Just as our model is not a model we want to export. Uh, well, I'm wondering if you could thread two things together, though. Could we introduce the concept of what primitive accumulation is into this story? And is it possible to connect it with, okay, that's great. They've lifted, definitely people have been lifted out of poverty. The growth rates are astonishing. And I think one of the subtexts, Ralph Leonard, who's a brilliant writer, pointed this out, that one of the broader subtexts of all of the like identity anxiety across the quote unquote Western world there's all of the xenophobia and bigotry towards migrants from Latin America and the Middle East. But the other subtext that's going on is the fundamental discomfort that the pattern of globalization, it's not just China, that Asia is reasserting a natural role in terms of like, if the world is just sort of normally as you'd expect it to be over long-term cycles, uh, you know, from China to India, you're going to talk about an unbelievable amount of economic activity and power. And that is unsettling to a certain part of the Western colonial psyche. But what about the ecological dimension to all this is what I'm trying to get to. Okay, so they're getting their cut, they're growing, but how much longer is their earth going to be in you know, inhabitable? And what is the Chinese strategy for that? The Chinese have been pretty good in taking care and recognizing that they have a serious pollution problem. They've actually taken... You know, enough? No. But they've taken it seriously. They've taken some steps. They've used some resources. I think you have a choice now, which is very dangerous for the world. The Chinese, and by the way, the Indians are absolutely take the same position. We will be willing to tackle the ecological crisis, but we have to be given the economic well-being that is the basis for doing that that you already have. Otherwise, you're going to use the ecological save the planet to keep us in a second rank. We're not, that's not acceptable. You have to meet us so that we have a chance to develop the standard of living of our people within the framework. We'll do that, but that you have to meet. And that means you've got to do more sacrifice than we do because you're consuming more of the world's resources than we are, a lot more because of your standard of living. If you're willing to do that, then we will be willing to slow our rate of growth because it is damaging the... Okay, the Indians say pretty much that. The Chinese say that. It's been the West, by and large, that doesn't want to play that game. That haven't played the game. But is it, I mean, is it specifically, though, with China? Like, when South Africa says that, or Kenya, or even India, or Brazil, like, yes. China's getting to the point where maybe they can't say that anymore, yes. just in terms of their objective power. Their objective, the trouble with China's objective, yes, on the macro scale. Yes. But the minute you put in the denominator of the fraction the number of people, the right. per capita is still way below right. what we have here. Right. Right. And they, again, I don't think they're demanding equivalence. I don't even think they say it, but they certainly don't. They don't mean it. But they demand some working out. And there were the beginnings of some kind of pressure on the Indians and the Chinese coming from around the world to compromise on this, and it was making some headway. The, the decision of the United States to withdraw from the Paris Agreement, Trump's one of his earliest uh, temper one transfers. One of his first big hits. Yeah, uh, that really was a signal to the Chinese and the Indians and the others, oh, oh, we got a different player here. He's not making any deals at all. And that was before the tariff stuff. And today, in the last few days, the currency manipulation arguments. This is now a pretty much developed economic warfare that's going on. And people comfort themselves by telling themselves they will eventually come to their senses and cut a deal. And indeed, they might. They might certainly is what they ought to do, and there's, the people on both sides are pushing that. On the other hand, you know, the history of capitalism is the history of these kinds of economic warfares becoming military warfares. And it would be very naive 
to imagine that there's something going on now that precludes that or prevents that or automatically rules that out. I don't think so. Can I we, think you're building in the direction of people making major miscalculations because they're being boxed in. Mr. Trump, in my opinion, is boxing himself in. I would never do that. He can't. He's doing a great uh, job. He it's can't, great. you know, he's playing more and more desperate economic games. On the one hand, we have a great economy. On the other hand, he's going to fire the head of the Fed for not dropping interest rates more because the economy isn't great. Right. So he has to talk out of both sides of it. It isn't great. That's why you have to do these things. It is great. You don't have to do anything. And he says the two at the same time. And even his people who want to believe in him, must be finding an increasing number of Well, there is anxieties. a phrase that the, that the kids use, which I think is often overused, but uh, lived experience. So that, that might be running up against some of this guy's spin about the economy. You've just watched a Michael Brooks show video, and you can watch all of our full main live shows every Tuesday night at around 7 p.m. Eastern time and subscribe to get all of the clips you want. We're covering the globe. We're focusing on international relations, the intellectual dark web. We're having fun. We're doing deep dives with a lot of amazing guests. Of course, become a patron for the whole thing at patreon.com slash TMBS or subscribe to this YouTube channel and help us keep growing and get that content out there. Subscribe below.